All right, let's dive right into the passage and look for words that stand out. In a 2017 article, historian Jasmine Kilburn Toppin explains that in early modern London, members of the city's guilds, trade and artisanal associations, were participants in a civic culture in which gift-giving both signaled and conferred social status. Cool. Research on this phenomenon has tended to focus on philanthropic gifting by London's largest guilds. Okay, I already sense a but here. For her part, Kilburn Toppin focuses on the gifting of handmade objects and fixtures, so that seems important. Uh, Handmade objects and fixtures such as decorative paneling or plaster work within the craft guilds, which were composed of highly discerning producers and consumers of material cultures. So uh, given this characterization, it can reasonably be inferred that the gifting of such objects may have, I don't know, it has something to do with the fact they're handmade. Discerning means that they notice things, so they have good taste, I guess, is what we're talking about. And since these are craftsmen, I think it matters that they're handmade. So I I don't see the word but, but just kind of like right there, I was noticing a butt. So that's the kind of thing that you can train your brain to kind of pick out. Uh, The fact that it said that, you know, research has has tended to focus on one thing, but it seems like this other person focuses on other things. So I don't really know what the blank is going to be, but let's take a look at the choices. Uh, Okay, so uh, it can reasonably be inferred that the gifting of such objects may have ensured that knowledge of the materials and techniques used by members of the craft guild stayed within the craft guilds. Well, is it about like the knowledge itself? No, it seems like it's about gift giving. I don't think they're trying to like keep secrets, right? I mean, the word secret isn't here, but that's the vibe I'm getting. That's definitely a strong word, a strong idea. This seems wrong. Uh, B, emphasize ostentatious offerings in the case of the largest guilds and prosaic objects in the case of the craft guilds. Uh, Are they comparing? This is like a comparison, right? Are they comparing the sizes of the guilds? I don't think so. Um... It says that the old applic- uh, the old research used to focus on the largest guilds. This person is looking at the craft guilds, but um, I think why are we bringing back the largest guilds? It just seems random. So I, I don't like this. I don't know whether it's a comparison. Um, is it supposed to be ostentatious, meaning kind of like overly uh, overly fancy? I don't think so. I think they're they're just they're just nice things that they're giving. I don't know. C, it functioned as a way for craft guild members to maintain and enhance their professional reputations among their peers. Okay, maybe. Uh, well, because they're giving they're giving them to highly discerning producers um, and, uh, and I guess, consumers as well. So they're giving them to other people who are in that guild, right, within the craft guilds. Um, maybe. Um, right? It's about the professional reputation. It's about their peers. It's within the guild itself. So, okay, maybe. D, it conferred greater social status when the recipient belonged to one of London's largest guilds than when the recipient belonged to a crack guild. Again, this is comparing those things. This is making me even more sure that that's a bad comparison. This just doesn't matter. Like, I don't, they're not comparing the different types of guilds. They're maybe comparing the different types of gifts, but uh, I don't even think that. Really, they're just making a point that these people gave really good gifts, I guess, that they're very well crafted. So this doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm good with B being wrong. And C, yeah, okay, yeah, it's it's about their peer group, um, and 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 uh, you know, to me, if I'm trying to pick out one particular p- part of this that really says that, um, they do say at the beginning here. I kind of ignored it at first uh, that giving the gifts um, both signaled and conferred social status. So it does have to do with, I guess, how they fit into the community um, and yeah, their reputation among their peers. My guess here is they're just making stuff that's really good and then they're giving it away as a way to show off how good they are, right? And to say, look, look at the cool thing I made, decorative paneling and plaster work, you know? Um, So yeah, I don't, I don't have any real like particular attachment to this choice. I I don't think I would have seen this coming, but that's okay, right? Like you look at the other choices and they all seem wrong. They don't have to do with what the passage is saying. You can just get there through process of elimination.